right. <clears throat> gotta check the mic. Make sure it's working. We got a mic. We got desktop audio. Let's get the main cam going. Good to go there. I'll hold off the browser for now. All right. Welcome, welcome. I'm actually going to close my smart cars. Cancel the flight. So I want to go over really quick uh, with the FS Labs. There's been some questions as of late in the VBlue Discord on how do I do this, right? So what you can do, I generally will do it on my iPad, but I'll show you guys how to do it here, right? Here, here we are on the VBlue site. So to book a flight, first of all, you need to install smart cars. So you go to resources, log in. I highly suggest you read the code of conduct in the pilot handbook prior, okay? You grab the blue cars client, right? Download and install that, super easy, right? Um, I can only speak to P3D, but obviously you need FSU IPC7 uh, for FS2020, okay? Uh, all kinds of good resources here, just so you know, right? So once I've got my smart cars, I then go into flight planning. I go to schedules, right? West Palm Beach to, we're going to DCA as flight 1734. So I'm gonna look this up, it's probably on page two. There it is. So I'm gonna click book that, right? I already have it booked, right? It's already booked, right? So that's all I need to do. Just take a peek at the live map on the site. So we got Joseph, Matthew, he's been flying a lot lately. Uh, James, Anthony, Thompson, Michael, Kurt, and Robert, all flying on V Blue. Thanks, guys. So we have, what is that? One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Almost nine flights active. Uh, it will be the ninth flight. Also on the live map, down here we've got uh, the weather and the prog charts kind of going, right? Shows what's going on. you got an occluded front that we're going to pass through. Could be a little bumpy up through here. and Definitely bumpy up here where the two fronts pass through. So at any rate, right, so we're booked. Our flight's booked. We can close that now, right? Then I pin it to my desktop, but here's the VBlue smart cars, okay? I'm going to go run as administrator. And then where I've booked, I've booked a selection of flights. So this is my trip, right? So 1734 is what we want. We're going to go fly. And I see that the route is different from what I'm going to do. And I've already copy-pasted. Actually, i got to copy-paste it again. Control C, and I go back to smart cars, right? I'm going to control V to uh, in there. Get rid of the DCTs, guys, if you can. I think that's an, a waypoint in, like, Australia. We have 131 passengers, and we're going to be cruising at 35,000, right? So now I go to flights, right? I go to start, and it's going to start recording our flights, okay? You can see my average landing rate is 200. I have 422 flights, 926 hours, 32 minutes, right? So... Uh, a cars is here, flights is here, so we can see our next leg will be DC to San Juan. Now I've built this trip myself. Okay, I've built this trip myself, so uh, I'll actually get a Boston leg to go back to my base, right? But you can put as many in here as you want, fly them in any order you want. You can actually book them from here, if you want to. You can click New. You can go Departure and then pick any airport you want. So say, so I want to go KMCO, and then I want to go back to Boston. That'll be the end of our four-day, almost five-day trip. Uh, and I'll go search, and then I have an option of whatever I want to fly. And I think we will indeed take a... My sister-in-law will be on 552 shortly. Uh, so I'll book that. That'll be our ending trip. So this is a two-day, this is one day, and this is tomorrow, right? So this is today, these two, two legs, and then tomorrow, right? But we're already in a cars for this. Pre-flight starting, flying offline, okay? I may pop online later. You can change that. That's how you book the flight in uh, VBlue, okay? I should keep that down. Right, so come into the FS Labs. We want to do the integration with the Atsu. First thing I do is I've come up here and I've aligned the IRSs, right? So we go one, two, three. So go to nav, go to nav, go to nav, right? Watch that on bat on bat light which you will see up here right i use fs2 crew so i have a whole flow but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to come down to the atsu i go to aoc menu i've already planned my flight on simbrief i have it up on my efb over here i don't know if i have the camera going do i yep i do so i have it up on my efb right here my simbrief flight plans right here for me uh it's also i can slide out a briefing here 
and we'll take another look at that shortly. But what I need to do is get things rolling. So I'm going to go to init. I'm going to check that it's B6, 1734, right? We're taking 69, so yeah, we're taking about 10,000 on the fuel. What I'm going to do is just for timing purposes, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put, we're taking 69, so I'm going to put 7,000 on. So I usually like to load, let GSX load the, the way I have my GSX personally set up, right? Uh, I like it to load um, about nine to 10,000 pounds. Uh, in the crew details, I'll put JBU-327, just in case something goes wrong with the smart cars. I can use Hoppy A cars as a, I've used it in the past as a validator if you're flying offline. But make sure you use your smart cars. All right, so then I'm going to go init data request, and it's going to pop up the flight and the flight times. All right, and we see on the bottom on the other side, active flight plan uplink. An hour and 56 minutes up to DC. Come here, refuel. I set up via GSX. STDs 1830. We're not going to make that, so I'm going to change that to 45 so we don't get a slot change. All right, and then I click and hold this on the non EFBs. All right, and then you see it. GSX refueling service request. And what I'm going to do now is set up the go to the boarding, go to request. I'm going to set up the catering to come, right? At the same time, I'm going to run my FS2 crew pre-flight actions. And we will say it's LSG here down in... And let's take FO Shannon here. America. Pre-flight. There we go. So that gives you 35 minutes to plan. So I come back. I'm going to go to data. Check the aircraft status. 21 April, 18th May. The database is good. We got a perf of plus 1.8 that's accounted for in the sim brief profile so then we go to init so it's diff rips data init right i'm going to run this through bbi dca ao from palm beach to dc irs's are already initialized it's jet blue 1734 the tropa pause which i get from my sim brief flight plan on the top of climb out it's going to be 460 the higher it is usually the warmer the temperature is and we're cruising 350, cost index of 40. And then I'm going to go to the flight plan. So we're, before I do that, I want to check the ATIS. Departure ATIS. We'll get the weather for DC. Didn't quite click that. Make sure you see that little asterisk disappear. I'm going to pop up the chat just in case there's any questions. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is a... <clears throat> What I'm going to do is check the, uh, with no alternate today, by the way, we're landing at MinFuel. So I can come to my messages, and when I'm in the non-EFB aircraft, what I usually do, is I just take a little sheet of paper, and I write down my numbers from my load sheet. So I'm going to check the load sheet now. So zero fuel weight's 127.1. One. Takeoff fuel is going to be 60.5. Take off weight is going to be 143.6, so I expect a flex 70. Fire test. Check. Okay, it's tested. Fire test. We got one, two, three, four, five, six lights. I got one, two, three. Four, five, six lights. Get that out of the way. Uh, go to the next page. 34, 2, and 32, 3. This could change. And then the block fuel is going to be 17,000. One other thing, if you want to hear everything that's going on, and I would recommend you turn down. You've got to come down here and do intercom, cabin, and PA to hear all the uh, GSX stuff. And I need to set my chase plane because I just flew the Mad Dog, so my hat switch is on the uh, yoke currently. Chase plane, give us another switch, will you please, folks? 70, get okay, joystick 90, there we go. So now i got pain on my joystick. Uh, so I've checked my load sheet now. I can accept that message. 
send back to the company. It's going to tell us slot times 18:45, no delay. 23 minutes set for the taxi, probably be less than that. Information India, departing runway 10 left and 1 4. So we're going to part 10 left. We've got converging operations. We back all hold shorts. This is real world ATIS, by the way. All aircraft, use caution for only 10 left hold short bars prior to bend and taxiway. Crane, 0.7 miles west, approach on runway 10 left. Advise you have info India. Why did she just turn the brakes off? And the weather in DC, what I usually do here is just get a temperature. So DC is uh, 18 degrees Celsius. Point eight, plus 32, 64 degrees, we'll call it 65 degrees, overcast, and scattered, broken, low, nice spring day in D.C., and a high pressure system. I'm out for the walk pressure. around. Thank you. So now, as you can see, oh, we never did put the jetway on. Uh, usually I would hit the mechanic button. I screwed that up. What you do normally is hit this button, and it'll automatically connect the jetway and start GSX for you. <clears throat> All right. So we've got that, so I can make an announcement before we leave. So we got messages, so we know we're going to take 10 left. Go into plan mode, go out about 40 miles. So we're going to go to departure. 10 left. And we are on the slids 2 today. Go on the lens. Insert that. So it's Carmen, Ryder, Arback, Slids, Fixass, Quizzer, Lens, Gruber, Snaps, Celo, Wilmington, Franklin, no, GYI, I always screw this up, it's Tar Heel, Tar River, Tanja, and Waves. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete Waves, and I'm going to insert that. Now watch this. Arrival is going to be... DC's landing runway one currently. It's going to be the caps three from waves, and I believe we can transition no via for the ILS, right? Now, come back up here, and you'll see waves has a restriction on it. So it's Tanja direct waves, but waves has a restriction. So we need to delete waves out of. Oop, no, erase that. We need to delete delete waves out of the initial plan, so that we can then redirect to waves as part of the arrival. Be cautious if you have a, a flight plan. There we go. Why did it... Uh, yeah, so it's all right into catch and bat uh, in the iOS. So, nice and simple. Right? So that's D-I-F, right? So we're now going to go back and complete init. I'm going to win request, right? So I go back to init, win, win request. I'm going to do init B, right? That's the catering gone. So what we're going to do now, before we do the rest of that, is uh, excuse me, go to boarding. I'm going to speed this down. I'm back. No issues on the walk around. Thank you. Now we got cockpit flow. It's both both uh, both pilots seated. Let's see if this loads up now. So we'll brief it here. Pin that. Pin that. And we'll just say the mount or we'll just say ILS01. I think the ceiling's not quite good enough for uh mount run. That being said. Hi, the security and safety check are all done. Are we good to start boarding? Go for it. Thanks. So we say go ahead and board. As long as the catering doors are closed, I allow the boarding. Here's the wind data uplink. So we'll complete in at B. And one more thing, we're gonna just check the departure altitude. 
Initial climb's 12,000, so I'm gonna set that in the FCU. So I've got 12,000. I'm gonna pull the speed and set it to 101 to remind myself. I'm gonna hit constraints, bring it back down, bring it into arc. So now we've got one FD2, so I know I still need to send off for the DIF. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot Radnance. Uh, we'll hard tune PBI in the event of a failure. We'll come right back here. They would probably send you to Lauderdale, I imagine. So we hard tune PBI on both sides, just in case. And what I'll do is I'll actually put 099 in there. 099, because that'll bring us ballpark. If we have to, it'll bring us ballpark to the. Uh, if all else fails, we can ride the VOR into the field. So it's D-I-F-R-I, so we're gonna do an FB now. So we've got, do we get a company message with an updated weight? No, we did not, because we're still refueling. So for now, we're looking at 127.1 with a zero fuel Mac center of gravity 34.2 and a block of 17,000 pounds, 17.0. And then we'll take a look at our dispatch release over here. Here's our release. So we're expected for a burn of 11,000. Reserves 3.5. No alternate. And we have an extra of 500. Right, taxi out is 5. So we'll put in reserve 3.5. So we should be showing 5.4. So 3.5 here on the final reserve which gives us 49 minutes say zero on the route reserve and 500 on the taxi. That should give us 5.4. Now this is saying 10.6 for 156. This is saying 11.0 for the same amount of time. So we'll see how that goes with the with the wind, right? This is taken into account the trip right now. Right? We'll go ahead and punch in 2200. Go on. T-A-R-A. Right. So it's R-I-P. So the next one's performance. So the Atsu. Not quite done with the fuel yet. Not understanding it. Not that it. So we're going to request a 10 left departure. Look at the wind. 30 degrees Celsius. QMH 3003. And then estimate takeoff weight of 436 at a 32.3. And I'm going to select for flaps one today. No need. We should get a flex 70. Disconnecting outside. Go seatbelts on. Check the fuel. So we have 1540, 1540, 6950, 6950. So we got 17,000 pounds. It's balanced. And the pumps will come on. Alright. And that is how you start your flight. The rest of you guys should know. GSX will automatically send the rest of it. I just wanted to keep this video kind of short. Uh, and we'll catch you on the flip side. We have the company message. Here comes the performance. So, 779JB, 10 left, 8 on the head, 30 Celsius. We're preparing for an air conditioning. Prior to aircraft movement, all customers must be seated when their seat on fast. Open up the AP, flap right, train to blow stone, and all carry on items are put away. 
fuel report mission. Smaller bags of personal items so can all the way under the seat. So we're going 1.65 and 30. Larger items can be stowed in overhead bins. So we run the takeoff with the wheels or handles facing out. It's going to be a small electronic devices may be held and placed in your pocket or in the seat back in front of you. But safe with services must be turned off prior to takeoff. We have to run that. If like crew members, please prepare for departure. bag comes on the airplane. That's 50 pounds. That's 50 pounds. Each of these bags actually is weight going in the airplane. That's one of those little details that really matter in the long run. So I'm just waiting to see that company message come up for the performance so that we can do the perf. While we're waiting for the perf, we'll do the copy active, which is the S, and from Carmen, come back to West Palm. Set a new destination. There will be the ILS 10 left. And we'll say it by Gullows with the downwind. Alright, there's the company message we've been waiting for. The secondary flight plan is now in. Go to the ATSU. Review the takeoff data one more time. So, Palm Beach 10 left, dry runway. Ice off, packs on. 30 Celsius, 10 knots on the nose. 303, 47. Rough, rough. 143, 316 is down 0.7. 46, 46, 47, flap one, flex and seven. Go to the perf page, we go uplink takeoff data. I just kind of do that as a kind of a fake. So we go 46, 46, 47. Ladies and gentlemen, the door to the aircraft has been closed. Uh, US regulations require all large personal electronic set. devices. Are you ready for the departure off. briefing? Note at this time. Are you ready for the departure briefing? Small Are you ready for the Please departure sure briefing? Ready. Okay. These devices must be unplugged from the outlet. So we have an A320. Tech status is good. No TAMS are going to review. Weather is good. Runway health. conditions are dry. If it becomes necessary, the captain may uh, No need for de-ice. We will start. Push back. Nose left. Taxiing out via. Da, 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 da. Taxiing out. So come off Charlie 15. Nose left. Taxi out Charlie, spot six, Charlie seven, Charlie crossing runway one four. We'll keep in mind on your side. Planes are landing and departing one four. All the way out, Charlie one. Hold bars are at the turn. They said to caution for that. Transitioning to the slids two. Packs on, block fuel 17,000 pounds. Estimated takeoff weight's 143,000 pounds. Extra time at the destination. Currently speaking, we have no alternate today, so I'll go to an FB fuel prediction. 
looks like we're going to have 34 minutes extra at the destination for a total of 5.9 on the fuel once we get there. Roughly 3.5 on the altar, 2.4, so we got a little bit to play around with. So we're doing a takeoff, runway 10 left. We have flap 1, flex 70. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Flap 1, flex 70. And we'll do 141, because we'll be at 5 knots before. 146. 147. Okay, APU's been up for 3 minutes, so reset the chronometer. And I'll go up here, put the APU bleed on. Transition 18,000. Thrust reduction's 1020. Thrust reduction's 1020. We actually might leave in the thrust to make continent. Well, we're not heavy, so. Uh, sector safe on the slids is 2,600. So we'll keep 5,000 in mind for a safe altitude. Request to climb up to 5,000. Uh, 12,000 initially. Uh, we reviewed the SID. Common Rider Arbac. Fix ass. Len, uh, quizzer at Lens. Uh, Rad Navs are tuned hard to Palm Beach. 35,000 on the cruise. And dual engine taxi. Any questions? None. Thank you. So we've got the finalized load sheet here. We'll just review that. Accept that. It's 126, 5, 143, nothing. 33, 4, 31, 6, 17,000. We are accepted. So we'll just update this. Go back to the perf page. Before start checklist. Cockpit prep. Completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers. Removed. Signs. On and auto. Adairs. Now you don't check these here. Come down and check them down here. Data. Position monitor. And you're looking for nav on all three. Nav. Fuel quantity. 17,000 pounds. Takeoff data. Set. Barrel ref. 3003 set. 3003 set. Electronic load sheet. Sent. Down to the line. Below the line. Windows and doors. Closed. Closed. Beacon. On. Thrust levers. Idle. Parking brake. Set. Before start checklist complete. Now I'm going to stop that tutorial here, and I will see you on the flip side for the takeoff.